Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jacqueline with My Prepper Kitchen. If this is your first time, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, and for all of those that have subscribed lately, I am so grateful and thankful. So my daughter and I are out. We are gonna go into Walmart. We're gonna get some normal grocery type stuff, but I also wanna get a little bit of prepper stuff just because every time I go to Walmart, I wanna get prepper things. So we're, we stay prepared, we stay on top of it add to my stockpile as you've seen in my last video or two um the crazy tower of stockpile the most unorganized stockpile there is if you would if you haven't seen that go check it out but we're gonna get it figured out eventually but in the meantime we still have to keep prepping so we're gonna walk in walmart do a haul and i will bring it to you um later this afternoon see ya Okay, we are back from the store and we actually had our last family Christmas today. So we're back from Christmas. I got all of the prepper items um, on my stovetop here. So I'm just going to go over that with you guys real quick, get right to the point. So if you've watched my last several hauls, you know that I have switched now to the Great Value baked beans instead of Bush's baked beans. And I'm doing that because of inflation and the price increase. Um, I do like bushes better but on a scale from one to ten if bushes was a ten I would give these like an eight so for the price I'm more than happy to pick these up um these are the cheap pasta sauces so I got two of these they're a dollar a piece my daughter wanted some more pineapple so I got her well she got herself a couple of those I paid but she picks out isn't that fun um we got I wanted to get a few meats just because the last few hauls I've got I don't feel like I'm getting as much um canned meat so I got a little pack of tuna here I also got these little Vienna sausages now if you've seen some of my cooking videos I use Vienna sausages in like a chili and what I said about them I didn't go into a lot of detail on the video itself but in the comments I said there is, in my opinion, like a hot dog, a mushier kind of hot dog. Obviously, I don't like it as good as a hot dog, but if I didn't know the difference, I would be okay with it. So, what I thought is, for 60 cents a piece, I'm going to go ahead and try out these four different kinds. So, we have hot and spicy, bourbon barbecue, original, and barbecue flavored. So, try these four, maybe a taste test or... I'm not sure exactly, but I thought that was pretty cheap. Um, and if we like one, because I've had comments on my last video, which I agree with and I appreciate all the comments, prep what you're going to eat. Don't prep things you're not going to eat. So did we love Vienna sausages? No. But would we eat them if we needed to? Yes. Um, but I'd rather buy the ones that we for sure would rather eat. So if that's the bourbon barbecue, hot and spicy, just whatever. So I got those. I got two more things of spaghetti. Um, we like these half length spaghetti, so I got two of those. This is a vegetable beef. I have never been disappointed with Bear Creek. I've used a few of these in my recipes on my channel. Um, and I love like minestrone from say Olive Garden or somewhere. So I'm hoping this is similar to that. And if I just added in some kind of meat or even without the meat, I think it would be delicious. I've literally never been disappointed. I just cooked my chicken noodle soup, um, from Bear Creek yesterday with the sweet Sioux chicken and dumplings. It is a stable in my family's, in my household. So, um, we got one of those. I got these hot and spicy pickles. I actually love these on a sandwich, <laughs> just like with turkey or whatever. I eat that keto bread now and it's really good and lettuce and all the good stuff. So anyway, I got one of these. I just saw it, it was kind of a whim. I don't have any of these in my stockpile. I've seen people use these in other recipes besides dip, so as just a seasoning. And I kind of thought that was a smart idea. So I might see what I can come up with this, um, with it to use with this at some point so I was kind of excited about that a pork roast seasoning mix I usually just season my pork roast with the spices I have in my in my pantry but um I wanted to give this a try because the whole point of my prepping is to find things we like and prep a lot of it so if you know these new things like this um hopefully we like them and then I'll know to prep more so I usually just buy one or two of something that I'm not sure about um, if you follow, I think it's Charlotte Prepper, 
um, she has a newer-ish channel, and I just watched a video of hers yesterday, and I like her videos too, and she had got some of these Simply Asia meals. Now, I couldn't find, I think she had a, was, no, it wasn't teriyaki, Mongolian, and a, oh, something peanut, Kung Pao, oh, no, that's this one. Well, anyway, it was something peanut and something Mongolian, and they looked delicious, but my store only had these two. Now, these are a little, a little bit pricey. They were like $3 and... 60 cents or something so as much as i would like to get more that's a little on the pricey side for a food i'm not sure about um i feel like i could probably spice up ramen noodles with my own seasonings to make it taste some more similar to these but i haven't tried these before so you know you don't want to do the cart before the horse and all that if i really like them and if they're worth it they do come with the bowl which is always really important to me um as a prepper, like dishes are something I worry about if the water was turned off and you know, water is obviously one of the number one or the number one thing to worry about when you're prepper. So I do worry about that. So I like to not have to worry about dishes as much. So I love things that come with a bowl or the container. And I will sometimes keep these because it has the lid as well. Um, and I'll reuse them or save them. My husband even says, are we keeping this whenever we get takeout? Are we keeping this container or are we getting rid of it? So I have to make up my mind depending on what was in it, you know, and all that. But anyway, I got a couple more packs of beans. Um, these were the cheaper. Beans have increased in price. So these were $1.13, the cheapest bean they had. I think these were like $1.30-ish. Um, and I don't have any small red beans, just actual regular beans that aren't in a can. So I was happy about these and these, I'm not quite sure how much I would use these for, but in a time of need, they will definitely get used. So these are something I probably won't prep a lot of um, because I'm not very familiar with cooking and using these in my food. Although it does look like they might be, yeah, lentils are in this, um, this soup. So when I try this vegetable beef, beef soup, if I like it and the lentils and they taste good, then I'll definitely be um, prepping more of that of the lentils. So anyway, and then I just got some breads just for our family. Um, the short, quick, easy prepper haul for you guys. I know people like the prepper haul. So I try to try to pick up some prepper stuff when I'm at the store. And, um, if you would just give this video a thumbs up, it really helps. And I am so appreciative of all the new, um, subscribers, like I've said, and all the people that are commenting, it means so much to me. It's so fun. So if you've made it to the end of the video, it is freezing cold here in Iowa. Um, leave a comment with a snowflake. It says that you made it to the end of the video. You actually watched to the end. You're so appreciated. And um, it means a lot to me. So leave a snowflake down in the comments. And only the people that watched at the end will be leaving snowflakes. So <laughs> it's a fun little kind of trick to see who's actually sticking around and supporting you. And I would appreciate it. So I will see you in my next video. And I hope you all are having a great day or night whenever you're watching. Bye.